has really never faced before. Jean Pascal just making his way out of the ring Give there. I mentioned the okay. disputes he's had, the problems he's had in recent times. Not really sure sec, what will be Three next for him. He was hoping after he beat Vute, I think that he might get a fight with Stevenson, maybe Froch. I think he'd be fairly keen. You men receive my instructions. The winner of this. Protect yourselves at all times. I want you to touch gloves now, man. You're boxing the bell. God bless you both. Touch gloves. And Steve mentioned weight as well. This is the first time, really, that he's actually had to make that 175 Coach, limit on debut. He was nearly 10 pounds heavier than that. Has weighed in generally at around 180 pounds in his fight so far. Eleven rounds to his name, and that is it. Into the first round we go. Gets a lot of power in short punches for Turbiev. Yeah, a lot like Kovalev, it's the timing, isn't it? That's what that's why he turns from the waist, turns from the core. It's, it's the, they, they don't look like the fastest of punches, but that's exceptionally good timing, so he always is the target. But for Claude, you've got to give plenty of lateral movement. You've got to, you're up against a rigid fighter here who can punch, plenty of lateral movement, plenty of moving away from that right hand. Heard the thud of the right glove into the body of Cloud there. mentioned he beat Sergei Kovalev twice in the amateurs they were teammates international teammates trained sparred together doesn't really allow himself to be drawn too much on the subject of those two battles on the subject of Kovalev generally Stop. Go. just the physical presence of the two of you have already just been able to corner Corner Cloud giving away the goal. Yeah. Well, catches a left hand from Cloud there. Yeah. And again, Petuvia throwing the right hand of the body, but Cloud counting with the left hook. Try to work his way in behind that jab. The right hand over the top there from Vitoriev. And just letting that left hand go and then a right as well. And he's got Cloud trapped here and Cloud is down onto a knee. 40 seconds left in the first round. Vitoriev ushered into a neutral corner. Good variety, good combination of punches. Was wailing away with the left and then just snuck the right hand inside. 30 seconds left in the round. Can Vitoriev finish now? He showed good finishing instincts in his career so far. And he could be about to get Cloud out of here in the very first round. And he goes down again. 20 seconds to go on his back. Looking straight at the referee. He's back onto his feet. Getting those legs back underneath him. And by the time this count has finished, there'll be virtually no time left in the round. So he will make it to the end of the first round. It's a Boris Cloud, but the nightmare experience he had here against Adonis Stevenson is continuing against Maturbiev. And he's gone down at the end of the first round again. Right on the belt, he goes down to a knee, and the referee will count. You cannot be saved by the bell, of course, and he will rise, I'm sure of that, but he'll have to get back onto his stool and reassess here, maybe, and see how much he wants this, see whether he wants to continue or not. His trainer in there is going to have a good chat with him, and that was explosive from Baturbiev, and he's taken everything away from the poorest cloud. That was frightening, wasn't it, from Baturbiev? Just cut the ring off, followed him round, just made his physical presence he felt from Cloud. He wasn't boxing too bad. But they got in close. It was like they were like cuffing left hooks that hurt Cloud. That's the power that Petrovius has, but it wasn't hurt Cloud. And it was, there was no snap in the punch, it was just, just the weight of the shot. That right hand's hurting there. But watch his little, watch his little like, inside cuffing shots there. <laughs> 
This shot she's done don't bother people, but Cloud struggling for that, didn't know where to go. It had to go to the floor because he's, he's just dazed and confused. As I said, they don't travel far, but there's so much purchase behind him. You look at the, the shape, you look at the physique, he's ripped to an absolute shred in there. And to be honest with you, he looks to me like a light heavyweight Gennady Golovkin. He's that kind of fighter. He stalks his prey. He cuts down the ring pretty well, actually. And then he lets those punches go. And how has Cloud managed to recover? And that is an absolutely jolting left hand from Baturbiev. You can see the head snap back. And he starts to unload again here. And surely Cloud cannot last too much longer. He's trapped in the corner, taking punches. He's trying to throw back, but to no avail. And he goes down again. This time flat on his stomach. And really, does he want to take any more of this? The referee's continuing the count. And I think he may well have had enough. I think he's going to sit this one out. And Tavoris Cloud is down and out. Artur Baturbiev has got his sixth professional win. This one, though, is not against a journeyman. This is against a man who has been challenging the world titles in recent times. It took seven rounds for Adonis Stevenson to get Cloud out of there in this very ring a year ago. It has taken Artur Baturbiev less than four minutes. Astonishing, Barry. That was frightening. I remember when we seen Kovalev, the way, the way he handled Nathan Cleverley, and we went, whoa, that's the most frightening thing I've seen. Chilling, clinical. And th that, uh, this uh, Kovalev might not be as good as, as maybe Cleverley, but you know, the, the same sort of level. That was tremendous, really was. This is a guy who's a world-class athlete. He literally was a world champion that, like, last year, and all of a sudden, he got nowhere to go. He blasted him out in two rounds, and with ease, literally with ease and Cole was trying to fight back but I think that was his that was his undoing really trying to fight back leaving gaps then for for Turby who just just walked through him like a train and though to step up step up the world level in your sixth fight this the fight of former world champion a world-class fighter in your sixth fight and all I'm thinking is why did he wait so long <laughs> he could have done that he could have boxed him in his second fight you would have thought he's, he's tremendous and what a division it's like heavyweight division is at the moment which all of a sudden they're just monsters aren't they well john pascal was up in the ring congratulating him maybe that's <laughs> a fight he could well john pascal does not duck fighters butte's ringside well lucian butte fancy a piece of arthur baturbiev i wouldn't if i were him i really mm. wouldn't stevenson is awaiting an next opponent their stable mates of course you can't see that happening kovalev as we know fights hopkins on november 8th but he is catapulted immediately right into that mix now there is no need to hang around and wait any longer because what are you going to wait for well it, it, maybe he can be unboxed maybe but if he's knocking everyone out you never know do you so you know he's just whether he can or whether he can there's no one's given the opportunity he just has tremendous power again like i said with similar to kovalev that good timing you just slide in the distance there's going to be no space to cut the ring off very effectively but effortlessly as well so they don't lose any they waste 